You know, I thought Mr. Mister was the name of a band from the dearly departed 80s. Turns out Mr. Mister is also the name of a gay bar in Dallas. Now, I don't have a problem with that, nor do I have a problem with drag queens performing at this bar. Here's what I find problematic. Having young children attend a drag queen night at this bar and being encouraged to stuff dollar bills into the G-strings and stockings of the performers. In fact, I think that might even qualify as child abuse. And joining me now is our newest Rebel News reporter, and that would be Juan Mendoza, based in Miami. Hey, how you doing there, Juan? Uh, pretty good, David. I mean, it's been uh, a whole uh, crazy turn of events here in the United States, especially with what happened in Dallas. Oh, a hundred percent. The the madness just continues. And you know what? There was so much to unpack here. But first things first, tell me what parent in their right mind would bring an elementary school age child to a gay bar and take part in a very sexualized drag queen performance? Well, David, I asked myself that same question. You know, I mean, for starters, I mean, it's a bar where it- only 21 year olds and up are allowed to go in. So I start myself asking that question. Now you add the fact that it's a very sexualized event that's going on there with a sign in the back there that's saying it's not going to lick itself, which the messaging of that is very sexual in nature. And I have no idea what these parents were thinking, taking young kids there to see uh, a drag show. Yeah. And you know, when I, that was the first thing that sprung to mind for me, because this Mr. Mr. Bar is a licensed establishment, I'll admit I don't know what the liquor licensing rules are in Texas, but I would think that there might be a prohibition for those who are not of legal drinking age or is there a way around that. That that just seems so weird to me. I agree. I mean, I was thinking the same thing. I mean, these are establishments that primarily sell alcoholic beverages, in the first place so i was surprised with that why they were allowing little kids into these events uh, or into these establishment and then these events just on top of it i mean what was going on in there was very sexual in nature i mean uh literally people doing very sexual dances that we're seeing in strip clubs i mean that's very i mean like i said like i was saying earlier i do not know what these parents had in mind when they were saying oh i'll take my kids to this i mean it's very wrong just the idea that they would consider taking their kids there. Yeah, I mean, what's next just to take their kids to a regular uh, stripper bar and, uh, you know, get the the full meal deal that way? I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound. It's really disturbing. But, you know, the thing is, too, one, we have to be, um, we have... You know, we can't beat around the bush here in terms of what this performance was. This isn't drag queen story time. That's almost become normal in certain circles. The idea of going to a library and hearing a story read by a man pretending to be a female. But these were very sexualized acts that were going on. It was like being in a stripper bar. And again, I, I can't connect the dots here when it comes to what those children were learning or what they were supposed to learn. Do you think this was all about, I don't know, indoctrination when it comes to this lifestyle? Well, personally, I think that they're grooming these kids just to be okay with uh, pedophilia. I mean, a lot of grooming process, like, they go step by step and they build up their way to where they're actually doing like these horrendous things and horrendous crimes towards kids. And that's why I think is going on there. And what disgusts me is that the left that claims to be pro LGBT, they're defending these actions and they're making it look like the LGP, uh, the LGBT community are a bunch of pedophiles. There was a story inside the bar, of course, that was, you know, these children witnessing these sexualized acts. But there was also a story outside the bar. Uh, you um, referred to it in your interview. Uh, Antifa coming down for some reason to, I don't know, claim solidarity with certain members of the LGBTQ+. plus. Uh, I'm sure I've forgotten a few letters there. What was the backstory there, Juan? I mean, Antifa tends to show up to many of these uh, controversial events. 
I mean, they claim that they support the LGBT community, but I mean, they're they're defending literal grooming of kids. I mean, it's hard. You cannot defend when they're sexualizing kids like this, especially in these environments. Hey, folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.